first sunset at sea here of Panama. We left um, Buenaventura about two hours ago now, and it's a beautiful sunset. We're making about 7.8 knots. I'm on we go. Welcome to MV Carawa. Here you see the Marquesas on the horizon after our 21 day passage. This video is about the preparation and departure from Panama on this journey in February, March of 2024. Well, prepping for crossing the uh, South Pacific is quite uh, involved because you need to check all of your equipment. You obviously need to check all your systems, make sure your charts are up updated, make sure you got all your spares, all your, your maintenance is done, anything you've ordered, you've provisioned, etc. For us, we also have to um, put a new Microsoft navigation computer in, so I'm going to start doing that today. This is our new Microsoft uh, navigation computer that I'm going to be installing today. I'll be uh, doing it with the help of Rob Coat from Ocean Currents over Zoom and uh, we'll see how it all goes. It should be loaded with Noble Tech charts, TZI uh, version 5 and OpenCPM as well. So it should be fun. This is the old one. The old one came out of this hole, which needs a bit of tidying up and cables everywhere. So obviously, we'll tidy that up. Well, I got it all set up and running. Still playing around, I've lost the heading now. To get the headings working on the Microsoft and the Furuno system, I needed to upgrade the Furuno software as well. It was uh, relatively simple. Come the fuel bladders. We ordered the bladders from ATL in New Jersey in the United yeah. States. They were shipped down to Miami and then flown from Miami into Panama. It's a relatively simple process and most of the marinas in Panama are well organized with shipping addresses. We didn't have to pay any uh, import tax. We ordered three 150 gallon bladders plus a 300 gallon bladder with associated fittings and hoses and covers. The 300 gallon bladder is quite large but it does fold up quite small. Um, we ordered uh, a number of lengths of hose, one inch hose and some securing ratchets. And the bladders come with a filling unit and a half inch uh, for draining but I've upgraded to one inch for draining so what you got here is this will go on the top this goes on the side of the bladder um, and you use this to fill the bladder and you use this to drain the bladder this is one inch will go on the hoses and they've also supplied the tape and they've also supplied the, the uh, clips to um, tighten the hoses around them. Hose clamps. Hose clamps, that's it. And then, for some unknown reason, they gave me four extra. Um, which is cool. I'm happy for them. We'll show you, we'll show you all of this when it's all connected up. One of the most important things we had to do before leaving Panama was have the bottom cleaned. Um, not only for efficiency and travel through the water and for the effectiveness of the keel coolers, but also because we were going to the Galapagos where they would inspect the bottom. To do this, we used a South African company operating in Panama called Wickes Marine. They did an excellent job and um, they are able also to provide certification for the cleanliness of the hull that is approved by the Galapagos authorities as well as doing fumigation where necessary. 
what you see here is two months growth with the vessel laying alongside in Buenaventura Marina. We also supplied new zincs and this is the zinc applied to one of our Kia coolers and you can see that the condition is much better than it was before the two guys started. A nicely cleaned up overboard. A new zinc is also shown here. And then finally the bow thruster. Blades have all been cleaned up and the vessel is ready to proceed. The tide in Buenaventura can be up to 18 feet. So unfortunately for us, at the time we were provisioning, uh, the tide was always out by the time we got back. And you can see Frank struggling with uh, to get the trolley down onto the dock. We made numerous trips to the grocery stores in Panama because provisioning there is very good. It's not too expensive and you can basically get everything you need. I spent a lot of time making, I made rusks, uh, ginger biscuits, um, a lot of frozen dishes and just food that was easy to prepare while we were underway because you never know what the weather's going to be like when you're out there. So you want to make it as easy as possible to get a meal ready for us. And so I made a lot of frozen breakfasts, frozen dinners and snacks for, for during the day. We rented a car from Panama Airport when we arrived back in Panama and used it for provisioning but we also had other uses. What are we doing here? We come to get uh, our American tank filled with propane. We just drove an hour and a half and we are like, looks like we're on a farm but this is the gas works. Strange as it may seem that was the closest propane facility that could fill our American fitting. We then also had to drive into Panama City and to Flamenco Marina where we had to check out of Panama and get our Zarpe. Once we had our Zarpe we had 48 hours to leave the country. It was a three hour journey in and a three hour journey back to the marina. Once we had our Zarpe we did our final shop and then drop the car off. The last thing to do on Sunday, the 25th, was to move Karawa over to the fuel dock at Buenaventura Marina. We had got a good deal on the uh, diesel at $3.71 per gallon, and we filled her with 1,800 gallons of diesel in four bladders and also into the um, main tanks. That's the 300 gallon fuel bladder. It's empty, but it's inside its sun protection sleeve with its um, straps to secure it to the deck in place. It was a blazing hot day as I filled the uh, tank. And in fact, I got a little bit of sunstroke. But uh, nevertheless, everything went smoothly. And that is a 300 gallon fuel bladder filled up and secured ready for the journey. So we've positioned the bladders and we're going to fill the middle one first. We need to hold the valve up, I'm going to do that now. So yeah, we have three by 150 gallon fuel bladders. Um, we're going to kind of wedge them in with fenders and we've secured them after a fashion with these ratchet straps that we actually bought in Home Depot like, I don't know, five or eight years ago that finally got a job to do. And finally it's time to move. Karawa, February the 25th, 2024. Departing the fuel dock just before high water at Buenaventura. We spin round with the wind and the bow thruster and head out towards the channel. 
As we head out, our friend Paul on Striker, his fishing boat, comes in having checked the depth. Paul will lead us out. That's Captain Paul. He's um, been checking the channel for depth for us. Uh, so he obviously just came in to see where we are. The high tide was forecast to be 14 feet, with a three foot bar to cross over. That gave us 11 feet. We saw a minimum of one foot. Thanks to Mark and Sarah for this video. I know the fenders were out, but we had left them until we cleared the channel. to say goodbye to your friends. Join us next time for the passage from Panama to the Galapagos, catching fish, mechanical issues, leaking hydraulics, and a somewhat tricky refueling process in the Galapagos Islands.